In this video we will show the first troubleshooting steps for a TV that will not power on. The TV we are working on is a Vizio model number M55-C2. Although there are many factors that can affect the TV, we are showing the first steps in troubleshooting if your TV will not power on. In these troubleshooting steps, we will use a multimeter to check for certain voltages. In order to continue troubleshooting, be sure you have the proper training, experience, skills, and equipment necessary to use a multimeter to check voltages in a TV. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. The first thing that I can do is to check and see if there's a standby light in the front of the TV. Some TVs have the ability to show a standby light, while others do not. If I do see a standby light in the front of the TV, that shows that I do have some power going to the TV, but it will just not turn on. We will continue troubleshooting. I have removed the back cover off the TV and I will use my meter to check the standby voltage on the power supply. First identify the power supply in your TV. Then look for a cable that runs from the power supply to the main board. Then you can look to see if the board has a legend on it showing which pins show what voltages. We can see the legend located on this power supply below the connection. We will line up the connection with the legend so that we can see it better on the screen. The test point that we will use to check for standby is test point number one and is labeled 5VSB for 5 volt standby. We have highlighted it on the screen. After testing the point, if you do have the 5 volt standby, then it is recommended to replace the main board. Click the annotation link to watch a video showing how to replace the main board. If you are watching on mobile and you do not see the annotation link, you can either look in the description for the link or click the box in the upper right corner for the link to the video. After testing the point, if you do not have the 5 volt standby, then it is recommended to replace the power supply board. Click the annotation link to watch a video showing how to replace the power supply board. If you are watching on mobile and you do not see the annotation link, you can look in the description or you can click the box in the upper right corner for the link to the video. This testing is a great place to start for troubleshooting these symptoms. In some rare cases, if you do have standby and your TV will not power on, the problem could also be a component on the power supply board. However, to start troubleshooting, it is recommended to replace the main board first.